to talk just from the back your cash flow stay froze i see money like home i make it back baby want to rock my stone of girl she call me bobby busy i'm a boss making all this shit no time <laughs> 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 Uh, the meaning of black and white stripes is based on our last name, Judith, uh, which is a zebra. Okay. So, zebra have black and white stripes, so we took inspiration from that. We thought there were also sounds different from what everyone else has had. We never find the band with the word with within their name as well. So, totally cool. Um, that's always a tough question because it's like there's not really a, an easy way to describe it, but it's it's a we listen to a lot of music, so our goal really when we're producing is to try infuse everything that we've been listening to maybe over the the last few months and make that happen in however we feel. So it's more you can argue that it's 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 Afro pop. Or Afro fusion, you can argue that it's it's hip hop, R and B, rap. There's no, we don't like to put ourselves in a box, basically. Mm-hmm. That's how to explain. But yeah, so you guys just um, you guys just released a song, uh, Saint Paul. Uh, l- let's talk about that for a bit. Yeah. Uh, what's the song about? I haven't heard the song. <laughs> yeah, it's you have uh, heard the song, you just don't in, know. In demo version, yeah. I, I've, I've heard the demo. Yeah, That's you true. haven't heard the other verses. Yeah, the cooked version, the final piece. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. The way it came up. Oh, okay, so I have to talk about how I, <laughs> I was up in the morning at around 3 a.m. in the morning listening to classical music alone in the room. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then. I decided, you know what, why not try something different where you sample it and there's no case of copyright infringement because it's now, what do you call it? Fair, fair, fair usage. Fair usage. Yeah. So it's a V, I don't know, I might butcher his Italian name, but I'm sure you'll butcher my name. Yeah. So it's <laughs> V Viaggi, I think. And he's usually, his music is usually like in, in movies like those. Oh, type of thing, right? music, yeah, yeah, but it's not a really popular one of his. Yeah. yeah. So I heard uh, the violin that's in the beginning. I was like, oh, that's that's cool. That's 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 a sample. Yeah. Give yeah, me that sample. <laughs> Chopped it, and then when we get into the breakdown, I'll explain it more. But then later on, there's a vocal sample. So it was like. Wouldn't it be crazy if you had like a drill fusion classical thing going on? Yeah. So then threw some drill drums onto it and then like chopped some vocals from it and then just do a bass line. It's the most basic beat <laughs> you ever <laughs> see. Right, because the drums freaking they knock your face off. And that's that's the goal, the goal is to like yeah. have yeah. knocking drums. So is it one of those slappers where I'm in the car and it comes on and yeah, I just exactly. go off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels, it feels like, very. The drums are slapping, the bass is cutting through. It's just, yeah, it matches the, the theme of the lyrics uh, <laughs> and the song. The song. Uh, because some of these guys were talking some, some incriminating things that we know. <laughs> If if they were ever brought into the case, <laughs> into a case, and it, it was weird because I was I was in my room listening to a completely different type of music. Like I was listening to slow R and B in my field, <laughs> and this man has called me and he was like, "Yo, come and listen to what I'm doing." <laughs> I got in there and it was a complete it was a shock because it's like, "Yo, bro, these are knocking my freaking face off!" Like yeah. the drums were hitting so. They needed matching lyrics. Yeah. Fact, I hear you. So, so did both of you guys drop verses for it, or I have a verse that will never see the light of day. <laughs> why is that the case? I'd love to hear why. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys remember the streets uh, that Yambo Neto saw. Yeah, yeah, Mike. 
Now yeah. when she was like, um, the thirty dollar date thing. Ah, yes, we yeah, heard. we definitely heard yes. about that. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so one of the first lines I said was, "Jama na stressa ni jeti forty zombie." I want to fit to my tattoo on my chest. It's hard, but then I was like, yeah. how do you follow up from there? <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to build on that. So now I'm like writing, I'm writing, all these flows are coming in, but it's just not. You just can't, it's, it's you not can't make match it. up. Yeah, so then we're like, nah, you know what? We've worked with Sizer before. Uh, his verse was, he had already recorded his verse and he was cracking. So he yeah. just recorded his verse quick. Uh, and... Is the speed of writing the is, is Sizer in it? He's in it, yeah. Oh, okay, so, okay, that's, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. So we got Sizer and, and Mta. Mta is Oh, fact! Fact! She has one of the, one of my favorite lines yeah. of the song. Um, he killed it. Yeah. So, so we sent, I, we sent it to Sizer, him. And then, he doesn't know this, but I put it in the group for you guys' opinion. When we were playing Pro Club. Aha! Uh-huh. That's the one. That's right? the one. So then Martin was like, you should try out Flint, one of his friends. So he ended up giving us a verse and then. Yo! It's the Avengers. Really? It's the Avengers. It's yeah. the Avengers. You know why I did recall? Because yeah. you know, then when we, if you download a, a song on WhatsApp on Android, well, it, just it, it says audio. WhatsApp or whatever, yeah, 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 with yeah. The, and, and I try my best never to play the song. Yeah. It's always voice note. Yeah. 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 Next so thing, I always hit the next thing button. you're playing a voice note in the car. Yeah. It's just playing. Yeah. 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 Let's not even get into that. <laughs> let's, let's we incriminate ourselves yeah, right here as well. Never that. Never that. Never yeah. that. But okay, we talked about the, the verses. I don't know, because did you have anything specific you would, you would want to know? Okay, so I want to ask him what he was, what his job process behind his verse was, because I've never actually asked. Because he? Yeah. Uh, it, it was basically this. It gave me a feel of not being someone I'm not but try because it's a drill beat right it's a drill beat so the first thing you think of if you're a rapper and you get a drill beat is like I nah the, the buzz I have to write the, have to be aggressive yeah, yeah they have to be <laughs> aggressive buzz. and <laughs> gun buzz in line with the, what the, the Brits are writing yeah, yeah but I try to still incorporate that with who I am like a violence yeah the beat he said the beat has violence so there's literally yeah. a line where i say music violence like beats with beats violence, with violence. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, so it's, it's kind it's Don't kind of I'm, it's <laughs> kind of trying to be like i'm still me but yeah. like still paying ode right in sense, yeah. Exactly, yeah. To the genre. that was basically and, and he was say he said something just uh throw away he said the speed at which you wrote that verse was absurd. Talk about that for a bit. Uh, it was, it was, ju- it felt right. It felt right. Sometimes, yeah. some beats, I sometimes take four days or way more yeah. to write because I'll write uh-huh. line by line yeah. with the more, it, it, it's a different style of writing, but this one was just like, I had to hit it while it was hot because it was yeah. it was i keep saying this <laughs> but it was knocking it was like yo we have one here you have one yeah. you can't let the the vibe go, go. Yeah. you have to jump on it so that momentum, exactly. Bro, momentum. at night when i was sleeping i swear i woke up the first thing i was like in, no way bro <laughs> it's in my head it was <laughs> bouncing <laughs> I hear like that. Said, I hear that. That's the that's the good. I don't know if you have. So Sam, when you were talking about you know, like the process of making the song, you mentioned you know some power. You said um, you drew inspiration from like psychological issues, like a classical Italian musician. Yeah. Or something. So when you guys are making music, how much do you focus on? You know, music as a sound. You know, you can have the sound of twenty 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 twenty. Mm-hmm. This is how music sounds like. Yeah. How much do you cater to? The sounds people are enjoying right now and balancing against what you guys want to make. Oh yeah. 
Definitely, definitely. I think this one, that question really fits with all of it. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. like, um, the whole Italian thing, right? So, yeah. that's why I was like, I, it, it, how often do you hear, like, drill beats have uh, a sound to them? Yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah. you already hear the sliding 808s, whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're like, that's a drill beat. Yeah. But then my thinking was, why not have something where you have all these violins, even like extra on ones we had the verses in and everything. We're like, let's add more classical music, like in a part where usually when the drip, drill beat uh, drops, where we are, we're still following the traditional drill template in a way, mm-hmm. where you have the vocals that sound like they're on a telephone and stuff like that, right? Yeah. And then, but whenever that comes in, the beat kind of drops. So we thought, why not? when it drops make it sound like it's a whole symphony like yeah. and we even joke like why not even say black and white stripes featuring like the violent orchestra or something yeah, like that yeah. where it's like <laughs> the orchestra even the strings that he played and stuff they yeah. sound they sound scary they sound spooky and they sound mean yeah. right but then it sounds like a classical song yeah. so in that part you're like am i listening to classical music but the lyrics that are coming through are like Drill, drill yeah, lyrics, yeah, right? yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. you're still catering to what is hot now, yeah. but now you're also adding a thing where if a listener listens to it, they're like, Oh, that, that's so cool! Like, you have this whole thing that sounds like it shouldn't be there, but yeah. it sounds right <laughs> there. Sounds, yeah, yeah. Sounds, like, yeah. How, do you, how do you marry orchestra and, and violin? With drill, it's drill. Right. Not drill, but the classical music. Yeah. Still so classy, and not just straightforward. And, and, and that's the thing. And then that specific part, <laughs> the strings sound like we even like tried to mix them to a point where they sound like yeah. the, the way they the positions. Because when you go watch an orchestra, right, you they don't get just get randomly thrown. Like you go sit there, you go sit there, they go sit like. Uh, violins go sit there two tubas go sit there yeah. so we said it in a way where it's like if you're wearing headphones the oh, orchestra is literally placed yeah. like you're sitting in front of the <laughs> orchestra yeah, and yeah. you're watching it so naturally you might not register yeah. but but when you hear it you just feel like you're like listening to channel, the orchestra right it's channel, like no. you hear like the violins <laughs> are coming from like in this angle yeah. and like the strings are like here and there's this here and you're like that's so cool, that's right? Creative. Yeah. yeah, that's creative. Yeah, that's creative. That's creative. Yeah. It's it's what we try to do. <laughs> so I haven't heard the verse. I'm gonna ask who has the hardest verse on the song. <laughs> I think personally, it's it's Sizer, man. I hate to say it. Sa- it's Sizer or Splint. You want you're trying to be humble, but <laughs> no, I I, only, he's play, I think he's. he's I'm only saying that because like the the energy that they I don't know it, it they oh, cause, they, cause they, they sound more in tune with it like it's more since they are it's they in their backyard British. yeah since they yeah and I, I was yeah, actually I was actually right? gonna say that about Sizer is that uh, the other song you did with him on Hotbox yeah uh, Her Majesty Secret Service. is which he also, sounds to me like a guy who would sit, sit on drill. One day, I hope people look back <laughs> at our music and realize that a lot of it, as funny as and unintentional it is, yeah. sometimes when we do make intentional decisions to like get a feature, yeah. it's not like he just went, ah, nah, this guy is hot. Let's throw him on. Let's throw him like, on. Yeah. Her Majesty's Secret Service is a James Bond movie which is a British smoothie yeah. and you get someone who fits that aesthetic that, yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. that what the song is about exactly and for him it becomes such a breeze so he can bring out his best yeah. Yeah. he's exactly. not like it's out not, of place yeah, yeah exactly. it's not, it's not, it's not yeah. one of those collabs where you're just trying to tap into each other's audiences but it, it doesn't There's feel like exactly. it wouldn't, wouldn't be like size that we want to make an Afrobeat song yeah where it sounds like oh and afrobeats in my label since it is british afrobeats i guess yeah. say i'm a piano like says i want to make i'm, I'm a piano yeah song. 
Unless really unless sense. the goal is really to push him out of his boundaries, it yeah. really wouldn't make sense. I hear that. Yeah, so it's like one of those where it's like even here we're like size will sound a hope. Because it sounds sounds like he's got that aggression, man. He's, he's just, he sounds and not only he is sounds his, huge. He's, he's big <laughs> naturally he's built as he sounds. Right? I've so never seen like, him but he sounds big. So it's like one of those where it's like it feel it sounds like it's just right. It sounded like you know what? If we get Saiza, yeah, he would be perfect because mm. not only is he British, um, he just tonally, bro. tonally he just yeah, sounds mean. Yeah. But to answer your question, I think he has the best verse, and maybe it's a family <laughs> bias. I also think Tyler also has. My, yeah, but the thing is, hard, it's, it's hard to choose. But that's the thing, choose. right? What I think what you're gonna say is it's hard to choose because every <laughs> day there's bro. a better verse. So Literally. everyone brought their A game. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so I like, know facts goes hard as well when I listen to his stuff on the yeah, sound. Yeah, I know he's about. There's a line like where he's crazy. like, um, uh, what does he say? I don't want to come with it, but this, this and that, you know, I'm here for the bag. Yeah. Niggas don't run this town. They, they run their mouths. Mouth. They run their mouths. Don't know what they like to brag. And I'm guy, like, that just sounds so good. And then you start to think, like, and look, do you know a lot of people that just yeah. run their mouths? Like, <laughs> yeah. th- like this yeah. city but is mine. We're not mine. really about that. Yeah. 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 No, but I think the fact that we're having this conversation and uh, people are like arguing about what's the, ver- the the best verse and whatnot is that's really. When you look at hip hop, that's really hip hop, man. Where you yeah, see those right. all star verses where you've got like maybe a Drake, a Kanye, and Eminem. What was that song? Forever. Where, to be fair, man, depending on the day, Eminem has to have the best verse. Right. Depending on how you wake up, Drake might have the best yeah. verse with the sprite themes and whatnot. It, yeah. it all depends. Wayne might as have long it. As, Kanye might have it. As long as. Yo, <laughs> that was like. That was a different era. Of, there's so <laughs> many collaborations, you know, from which age. They, niggas would just jump on the track. Five, yeah. six niggas. Swagger like us. Swagger, swagger like us. Why don't people do that anymore? Uh, like, uh, what, what, are they, what are they called? It's uh, not profit split. Exactly. Yeah, I think it is. I it might be a label. Because he used to be like, let me be I think it's labels. I it's really think it's I'm so but I'm sure. A lot of art labels yeah. also conflict, like, yeah. who's going to get what percentage, yeah. who's going to get this. I think that thing, also ego, sort of like, into play, yeah. 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 Now, yo, nowadays, if you get smoked on a song, it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be social crazy media. as well. With That's social what media social media has 10 it's years crazy. ago. It wasn't years yeah. ago. Yeah. You put out the song, you're just going to get your, your next look. Now, people are going to come to you, but now it's, on now, social, uh, social media is so bad that. Like, <laughs> Put out the song, right? And people comment. You have people like the artists now yeah. are forced to like come up with follow up comments or follow up yeah, 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 about exactly. the thing. And now it's all quad and the all, artists. Oh, like do you guys remember um what's the Travis Scott song with Nav at the end? The one where people oh, started clowning and then yeah, it sounds like yeah, a VN yeah, and yeah. and they had to go re-record it or whatever. They had to go do again and now you have like this pressure. So it's like it's, if it's, I'm Nav now I'm thinking, was oh, I really trash? Yeah, and he is, yeah. isn't even yeah. fun anymore. Yeah. From then on, yeah. his Thanks, whole man. thing got. He gets brought up proportional. Exactly. Yeah. But I, but I do think in the greater scheme, man, we can't live off of social because even if you bring your A game, someone is definitely going to say this is trash. Yeah. yeah. And to them it is. Right. So it's also about just feeling secure in your art as well. You did what you did. Exactly. Music, like many as other arts, is very subjective. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's like, technically sound. Yeah. 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 Like, I think, right? I think right? going back right? to even yeah. the example yeah. right? that you guys brought up, um, like how you brought up the the Forever song, or even Saint Paul, right? Yeah. Everyone is had their own style on yeah. it, on it, right? So, everyone isn't going to always like Eminem's fast rapping style yeah. Yeah. because yeah. sometimes yeah. you're like, yeah. come on. And sometimes they're like, Woo! that's yeah. what it is, right? Yeah. So everyone's going to always have their taste. Yeah. And I think that's the beauty of even this song. It's like, he has his own style, Saiza has his own style, uh, Spence has his own style, Ty has his own style. My own style that never came. <laughs> we need, we need, we need, <laughs> need those leaks, man. But it's, on, the, it's on the production. We need the leak. Yeah, yeah. You still impose yourself on the production. Like literally, so, yeah. The image, the backbone of it all. Yeah, the spine, man. But yeah. then usually, I think a producer is almost like a a cinematographer or a director in that 
you piece really the the spine of the thing and, yeah, and you true. get to evoke most of the emotion that's true but that's people true. don't necessarily get to see you and yeah that's, that's still like fun. in the background yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's still fun that's i think fun. like to add on to that it's like you work in the back and you're like you don't you said like the tone and everything going on right yes and it's like you get to a point where it's like no one is gonna um acknowledge like this because you're not the face of the song yeah, yeah. but ultimately the face of the song does what the beat would not have done on its yeah. own as well so yeah. everyone is complimenting each other exactly. right? it's it's like that, right? yeah so it's like you can't say the artist did it or the producer it's did just, it or it's just, whoever it's, did it's it's just collaboration right? yeah. they come together to make one joint item that's like fire yeah, right. Yeah. All right, man. Let's end this interview. I need to hear the song. Let's end this interview. Hey, right, man. Right, right. 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 Let's do this. All right, Peter. It was nice talking to you guys, man. Yes. All the best. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start off the the breakdown of the beat uh, with the first thing I did, which was chopping the sample parts that I wanted. So again. Okay, so that sample was all the way at the beginning. Um, the plan was for it to set the mood, and then the next chop was the one that was gonna just like go on throughout the beat. And here it is. <laughs> just spoke to me like those violins just sounded so big and cinematic i was like let's throw the same four reverb on top of it and and go with that because that is the one and this is what came up So I had that and I was like, yo, let me add something that, you know, if like if it's like 300 or something, it'll be going on in the back when the Spartans are like walking and it will sound like so epic. So I picked this part from the sample. <laughs> just sounds like the queen of sparta like just watching the men like march off um but yeah it sounded like this together with everything else so this is the chop that probably stands out the most um Picked it out, threw it into Slice X, um, played around with the markers, set some spaces, and this is what I got. pretty much the chop so let me just show you what i ended up doing to to chop it into the sample that leads the verses <laughs> Uh, so together it sounds like this. So 
so that now started to that felt right so i was like okay now time to get the bounce in and uh, i'd been looking for sound effects but i ended up just using this drum loop here it is the bounce at uh at everything down now i need to like a bass like something that would just like sit there and just you know so this is what i did a simple bass line not doing too much just sitting there um and then yeah together this is what it sounds like couldn't couldn't just keep it like that so um throwing some variations as well to the bass and this is what they sound like then with everything this is what it sounds like I still had that 300 uh, idea in my mind. I was like, maybe I should add some rain to make it feel like we're outside. That's the thing I add like in a lot of beats. Uh, Kosi and I do it a lot where we add like nature or stuff like that uh, in the back just for that feeling. And this is what we added. So, yeah. While this part is much, we've got the rain going and, and like little extra things i added here and there like hats and stuff but still had that um wailing sample that i had from the beginning that i wanted to sound epic and all so, I so now we come over to logic where we do the mixing the mastering and record vocals and stuff like that um Gossi prefers logic whenever he's recording stuff so we needed to record extra strings as well um, and he was gonna play them because yeah he's he's that guy you know um, and then obviously we then arrange them and make them sound like nah, you're sitting in an or like you're sitting and watching an orchestra like so bad. yeah this Baby is what this is what came up um, boss, and yeah it, no it added that final glue to the instrumental. So all the orchestra bits between the verses um, are different just to like symbolize how each artist is different from the other uh, that was in the song. So we wanted that to also like stand out but not stand out in front of everything else. Um, and everyone gets their own arrangement I guess of strings. Um, but yeah it sounded, it sounded dope. hitting the fields you know like hitting hitting the fields is beautiful throw that with the beats and the vocals and everything and this is what you get yeah i don't want to conversate but this and that you know i'm here for the bag things don't run this time they run they must don't know what they like to brag Burn up. Nah, I don't wanna talk. Just run the bag. Your cash flow stay 
froze I see money like home, I make it back Baby wanna rock, my stoner girl She call me Bobby Busy I'm the boss, I'm talking ownership No time for yeah. hard yeah. What well, madness? Come put me on your back. But yeah, that's uh, that's the breakdown of the song. Uh, in the simplest way I could give it, really. Um, didn't get into all the intricate stuff, if we're gonna call it that. But yeah, go stream it, go enjoy it, go vibe with it, go run a lick to it. Yeah, just just go insane with it. It's, it was it was fun making it. And I hope that feeling translates to you guys as well. Now nah, I don't want to talk, just run the bag. Your cash flow stay froze, I see money like home, I make it back. Baby want to rock, my stoner girl, she call me Bobby Busy. I'm a boss, I'm talking ownership, no time for hobbies. Uh. If you try come between my fam and business, you'll get lit like incense. Like one to the face, then drift. Don't be a tough guy, you don't know what the risk is. Music, violence, be with violence. Our president is gifted. Clowns are twisted. Little niggas think they're it when it's all fiction. Shawty wanna give me blow. She wanna get sucky, sucky. After the show, when I get my dough, I'ma leave with a bitch from a different country. She said the types and attractive earner. Nervous girl, I'm a stomach turner. Whip German like Verna. Merc all black and match with the burner. Nah, I don't wanna talk, just run the bag Your cash flow stay froze, I see money like home, I make it back, baby